everyone, what's going on? It is M10 here. Welcome back to Terraria 1.4. And in this video, uh, I'm going to be showing off defeating the Dungeon Guardian on Master Mode. So uh, our my world during this fight was set to Master. Uh, I've already completed it. But um, the world was set to Master. And I was doing it whilst in the middle of testing for my All Summoner Staff uh, all new Summoner Staff video that I'm working on at the moment, and I thought I'd get this content up in the meantime so you have a video to watch just in between making the extended guide videos because they do take a little while to make. Anyway, it was mostly to test out if the Blade Staff has a base damage of 6, but it also ignores enemy defense. So if I did so, say I spawn this thing, it's going to deal the same amount of base damage to a slime as it would to a golem, uh, and it doesn't matter what the enemy's defense is. So my theory was it would, you know, take out the Dungeon Guardian's defense and deal uh, 20 damage all at once to him. Now, unfortunately, this is not the case. It apparently only works up to 25 defense, and then it starts creating issues from there. And of course, the Dungeon Guardian has 9999 defense. However, it was quite fast. This The thing about this weapon is, as you can see, it attacks super duper fast. Plus with the new Dungeon Guardian, uh, sorry, the new uh, Stardust Guardian, which also attacks super fast, I was getting a lot of attacks per second. And I think it was in the end roughly 50 attacks per second. And that is definitely something you need when you're facing the Master Mode Dungeon Guardian, which has a total of 30,000 health. It is crazy. So it did take a while to complete the fight, just generally. So anyway, uh, I was testing it out, and I think this is probably the fastest way to kill the Master Mode Dungeon Guardian. It's probably up there with the SDMG, unless you're doing, like, you know, some um, super crazy method with, uh, I don't know, what are, what are, <laughs> what are the, what are the me like, mappy gaming methods and stuff like that. Uh, if you just want to fight it one-on-one, -on -one, with weapons yourself and no wiring and, and uh, glitches and whatever else. This is probably the fastest way to do it. Um, just weapon versus versus Dungeon Guardian. For all of this, the loadout I used was the Stardust Armor, Papyrus Scarab, Necromantic Scroll, Pygmy Necklace, Star Veil, Hercules Beetle, Destroyer Emblem, and Avenger Emblem. Now, to be honest, I didn't... Uh, like, these are just left on menacing because of my other characters, the menacing doesn't actually do anything in this fight. What you're going to want for this fight is you're going to want as many minions as possible. So I got it up to 11 minions, I believe. I was using Rage Potion, Iron Skin Potion, Life Force, Wrath Potion, Flask of Ikor, Summoning Potion. This doesn't do anything. I was testing whether it would work with a whip. It doesn't. Now, one thing I forgot to mention in my All Whips video is, is that the Kaleidoscope actually has a 10% summon tag critical strike chance so usually minions do not deal critical strike damage however after you hit an enemy with the whip if the minion hits that enemy in the whip spot it has a chance to do a critical as you can see with the golem there so once the buff is removed as you can see no crits are being dealt then when i hit the golem with the kaleidoscope whip again some criticals are starting to appear again so what this means is I shouldn't have made my accessories all menacing in the end. That was a bit of a mistake. Uh, but if you are going to do this fight yourself, I would recommend, first of all, getting as many minions as possible. That's, that's what you want to get. You want to get the maximum number of minions possible. And also you want all your, uh, all your accessories to be reforged to lucky and to get as high of a critical strike chance as possible. So, in this fight, I used Rage Potions, I used Summoning Potions, and that was very beneficial. So, what you're going to want is, obviously, the highest DPS possible. So, for this fight, because it is quite a long fight, it did take some time. I'm going to play it in two parts. The first part is going to be the fight sped up, and then uh, I'm going to do my outro and just let the full fight play at 100% speed for anyone who wants to watch it at that percent speed for any reason whatsoever. Hope you enjoy the fight as much as I did.
Okay, so as you can see, unfortunately, there was no Master Mode drop from the Dungeon Guardian, which I was a bit disappointed by. However, I did think the fight was cool. Uh, it was a little bit of a challenge, but to be honest, after I'd done it, it probably probably less challenging than the Starlight, where I did I had a greater margin of error available to me. Anyway, something I noticed. Uh, look at the blade staff spinning around my head. There's a little bit of an optical illusion going on there. You can't <laughs> like try and work out are they spinning clockwise or counterclockwise. You tell me. Let me know in the comment section down below. <laughs> um, anyway, uh, that's all I have to say for this video. This is me doing some testing for my All Summoner Staffs video that is coming out soon, so make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications for that. I'm hopefully going to get that video out as soon as possible for you all, so looking forward to that. Anyway, if you have made it this far, make sure to comment, like last time, treasure bag in the comment section down below so, I've no, so I know you've made it this far, and I really appreciate all the support of my recent videos, everyone. So keep liking, keep commenting, keep subscribing, and I will see you all next time. Thank you.